Muy buenas noches, bienvenidos a un nuevo vídeo de Tian les traigo y continuamos la aventura después de la emboscada del clan Travis a Seinoa y a Frederica. Bueno, pues tenemos que volver al castillo de Wolford. Y vamos a dar una rumba a ello. Welcome back, the both of you. Were there any troubles while we were out? None to speak of, aside from Eridor here. But what else is new? You know. Out with it, Benedict! I heard you were beset by brigands. Is the young lord safe? El reino. Well. Lower your voice. Must you always shout so? Or can't you see that it was that big mouth of yours that invited trouble in the first place? There is no cause for concern, Eridor. Besides, I'm not a child anymore. Mayhap not, my lord. But I've known you since you were knee-high to a... Uh, never well, I learned it now. This must be the young lord's bride to be. I am Frederica. It is a pleasure and honor to meet you all. And I am Gila, her attendant. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Allow me to introduce those in service of House Wolfort. This is Arador, master at arms and commander of our military forces. You'll be the lady of House Wolfort. No harm will befall you as long as I'm around. And this is Anna, my right hand. If you require anything, just say the word. They may not be of my blood, but they are my family just the same. And from this day on, they're your family as well. I am aware that in all of Glenbrook, House Wolfort is second only to the royal family in power and influence. I will do my best not to disappoint you. A joyous day this is! The little lord grew up and found himself the perfect bride! Nigh brings a tear to my eye. His voice certainly does carry. Sorry, my lady, but you'll have to get used to it. <laughs> My lord, your father awaits you in his chambers. As for me, I must stay and discuss the preparations for tomorrow's festivities with him. Lady Frederica, pray come with me. Father is expecting us. Han llegado a ser unido al grupo. Les de Ana durante el combate, muévela con sigilo para ejecutar ataques sorpresas letales. Puede ejecutar dos órdenes en un turno, es capaz de ocultarse de los enemigos. Cambio herador, protege a sus aliados gracias a su formidable defensa. Puede provocar que los enemigos centren sus ataques en él. Puede contraatacar los ataques físicos de los enemigos adyacentes. Me están explicando ya, es que vamos a combatir ya con ellos. As you are well aware, there are two events of utmost importance to be conducted before Lord Serenella and his bride are wed. The ceremony to commemorate the joint mining venture. Still can't believe I'll be seeing the day when we break ground on a new mine right here in Glenbrook. And with the full support of S. Frost and Hyzant, no less. You can thank King Regnant for that. It was by his most wise and generous proposal that the three nations of Norzelia now strive toward a common goal. Needless to say, delegates from each nation will be joining in the festivities. 
from the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, Lord Dragan Esfrost, who is overseeing the technical side of the mining operations. The Holy State of Hyzant will be represented by Minister Lila Viscraft of the Saintly Seven. And our own Lord Simon will serve as Glenbrook's delegate and meet with the two before the ceremony. Yes? Quite so. After that, it will be House Wolfort's responsibility to see that our honored guests feel welcome. Anna, I would trust you safeguarding both Lord Dragan and Minister Lila. Consider it done. Then once that stuffy ceremony is over, we can get to the real highlight of the day, the tourney. Ah, my blood's already rushing. Just envisioning the greatest warriors from all the realm, clashing. From Esfrost, the much renowned general of Laura. And from Hyzant, Minister Exham Marshall. I have heard much of his prowess as well. Then, of course, there's our reigning victor, the pride of Glenbrook, Sir Maxwell the Dawnspear. Still, I wish him all the best of luck against their hosts. They'll need it to beat House Wolfort. On that matter, there are some things I should make. Let's see each one. Prince Roland has expressed a desire to join the tourney as a member of House Wolfort's contingent. Why would the boy want to fight with us and not his own arms master? Apparently, he originally formally requested to do just that, but King Regna would not allow it. And so he came to the young lord in hopes of finding another way in. Well, it's more than welcome in my book. The royal family said we're free to put together our own contingent after all. I reckon His Majesty would be beside himself with joy if we could deliver a beaten to Esfrost and Isand. Doubtless so. Very well. I shall inform the prince that he is welcome in our ranks. Finally, there is the matter of Lord Simon's health. Indeed. Sadly, the Lord of the House is in no condition to participate in the tourney. Barring some miracle, I anticipate that Lord Saranoa will have to fight in his Lord Father's stead. Lord Simon. I suppose age takes its toll on even the mightiest of men. So be it then. You can leave watching over the young lord and Prince Roland to me. Good. I remind you that while this is a joyous occasion, all of our attendees have their own reasons for coming. Let us not give them an opportunity to catch us unaware. No, that's it, Chava. Bueno, tenemos ahí el castillo, la ficha de Genoa y no tengo ninguna misión secundaria. Sabéis lo de las misiones secundarias es que no lo vimos en el anterior vídeo. Pues de momento no hay nada. Ahí está el rey. Father, I bring to you my betrothed, the Lady Frederica. A pleasure to meet you, my lord. I am Frederica of House Esfrost. Ho oh, ho, the pleasure is all mine. Were it not for the efforts of House Wolfort, the Salt Iron War would rage on still today. I do not deserve the honor of joining your esteemed family, but I will endeavor to serve you all the same. <laughs> there is no need for such formalities, my... You are tired from your journey, I am sure. Pray rest easy tonight. Thank you, my lord. I 
believe that in any journey, before we go forward together, I should like to know why you chose to welcome one of Roselle in blood, such as I. Oh, I'd heard you were a strong-willed one. Pray forgive my insolence. And yet, I am set to marry into a mighty house. I should like to know what you wish of me, that I might live up to your expectations. A most reasonable request. Both of you, listen well. Yes, Father. Your marriage was agreed upon by Glenbrook and S. Frost, that the ties between our two nations might be strengthened. To give us more leverage against Tizant with their monopoly over salt. Precisely. With Glenbrook and Esfrost consolidating their power, Hyzant was left with little choice but to join the Alliance. And yet, while Lady Frederica is indeed the Archduke's sister, at the same time she is the daughter of a Rosellan concubine. And House Walford, for all our military prowess, is no more than a bannerman of the king. If the aim was to forge the strongest bond we could between our two nations... It would be far more appropriate for my sister, Lady Erica, to wed the Crown Prince of Glenbrook. Just so, yet neither nation chose that. And do you know why? So that if relations between our two countries were to take a turn for the worse... We could be cast away like pawns. Okay. Precisely. Such are the schemes of those who rule nations. I understand now. And yet, no matter how impure the intentions behind this arrangement may be, I will not bring dishonor to the Wolfwort name. <laughs> Well said, my son. If that is your decision, then. Y los herederos está todavía. Erika está ahí pendiente todavía. Espérate que si no va a coger el título ya pronto. Father. Lord Simon. I am an old man, and my health is not what it once was. For this reason and more. As of this day, I abdicate my position as Lord of House Wolford. You will serve in my stead from tomorrow forth, my son. But, Father, I am not ready to... What about you? My decision is not made lightly. You have already shown me, with your words and your deeds, that you are more than ready. Think always about what your subjects need from you. Weigh your choices carefully, then take action. Do so, and I have no doubt you will make a great lord. And trust in Benedict, he shall serve you as well as he did me. Thank you, Father. I will spare no effort that one day I may be as beloved by our people as you. Lady Frederica, your fate is not a simple one. There are many who would try to use the both of you as pawn. Even so, I hope that you will be there to support my son through it all as his wife. But also... This is House Wolfolk's entreaty, and the wish of a father. Of course, my lord. 
It was my intention from the moment I boarded the ship. Beg pardon, my lord, but Lord Jagan and Minister Lila have arrived. Very well. Presiding over tonight's banquet will be my final duty as Lord of the House. Tomorrow's ceremony will mark the beginning of yours, my son. And after that will be your wedding. Rest well tonight, both of you, for busy days long. <laughs> posible la juventud es como un halcón sí. va vale, aquí es cuando se acaba el capítulo vamos a grabar y los dos Thirty years after the salt iron raged across Norzelia, a vein of precious minerals was unearthed in the kingdom of Glenbrook. From east to west, joy swept the land. United at last in common cause, the kingdom of Glenbrook, the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, and the holy state of Hyzant endeavored to wrest this bounty from the earth with each nation providing expertise and resources. This uneasy alliance between once bitter enemies will herald a new era of tranquility in this long and battled realm. One after another, dignitaries from each nation arrive in Glenbrook to solidify this accord and toast to its success. The first step Oof. on the road to peace. Among those who would forge this road is Sarah Noah Wolfford. Inheriting the title of Lord Wolfford from his father, Simon, he must decide what foundation he would lay for this new era. Capítulo de Alzados, hijos de la salvación. Ahí están los dos. ¿Te han venido? Welcome to Castle Wolford, Minister Lila. Allow me to express my gratitude to the Holy State. Were it not for your nation's generous efforts, this venture would never have come to fruition. You are too kind, Lord Simon. You too have served an invaluable role in this. Though I must admit, the news of the union between your son and Lady Frederica came as quite the surprise. None in Hyzant considered that a bannerman of Glenbrook would join with the ruling family of Esfrost. I hear that Lady Frederica is the Archduke's half-sister. I must ask, how did this arrangement come to be? Your curiosity is only natural. This union was promised during the war, an arrangement made with the previous Archduke. Truth be told, I am surprised one as well informed as yourself did not already know. And this is your son? As I recall. Sir Noah Wolford, at your service, Minister. And I am Frederica Esfrost. My son still has much to learn, but I believe this marriage will herald a bright future for us all. For today, I intend to step down and leave House Wolfort in Sarah Noah's capable hands. Y se lo dice tal cual, la renta, la entrega. You're abdicating your position. Surprising news comes in pairs, I see. Nonetheless, I am happy for you both. I imagine the lords and ladies at tonight's banquet will take great interest in the new lord. <laughs> Pray, go easy on the boy, my lady. 
I hear that young Lord Dragan of Esfrost shall also be in attendance? Indeed. He has been appointed to oversee operations at the Grand Norsalian Mines. I understand his star in Esfrost has seen a meteoric rise. Good. I would like to hear more of this new explosive substance he means to use to blast the tunnel. As a fellow scholar of sorts, if in a different field, I am always curious to learn how great discoveries are made. He should have arrived by now. Has anyone seen him? Dragan's gone to see the city. He was halfway there before the gangplank landed on the docks. Ah, he is your cousin, yes? I see we share an innate curiosity for new places. The banquet will begin soon. I shall seek him out and escort him there. Very good. Though I will host tonight's festivities, I want you to act as if you're already Lord of the House. Our guests are the most esteemed personages of their respective nations. Take care not to cause offense. Of course, Father. No sé, yo sí vamos a mantener ahí el el tema y la boda, una boda roja, yo espero. ¿Dónde estará el maestro Draga? Lo buscaré por la ciudad y de paso veré cómo están los civiles. Entre las escenas de la historia y las batallas hay una fase para explorar e investigar libremente tu entorno. Esta fase podrás explorar libremente el territorio y eso significa que dentro de las posibilidades puedes hacer lo siguiente. Hablar con otros personajes, buscar y obtener objetos, comprar los mecanismos de terreno antes de la batalla. Vale, si al más, eh, finalizo las pesquisas. Permite explicaros más en detalle el triple pacto de las nuevas minas. Este acuerdo permitirá a las tres naciones explorar y administrar conjuntamente las recientes escritas minas de hierro. Podemos esperar un mayor desarrollo en nuestra economía y el nivel de la vida gracias a la compraventa de dicho mineral. El maestro Zaga sabe mucho sobre las técnicas de forja, por lo que es alguien que más que idóneo para encargarse de los aspectos técnicos de la alianza. Soldado, debe entrar a esta casa. Dicen que el príncipe Rola no ha vuelto a irse del castillo escondidas, en fin, tan rebelde como siempre. Hay una llave aquí. No sé el cofre ese, ¿no? El... La caja. Uy, esta casa cómo se entra. Eso es la puerta o la ventana. No se puede entrar. Están conjuntas, ¿no? Oye, aquí hay algo, ¿no? Ha brillado. Tiene forma que de curación de puntos de vida. Y también algo brilla en el libro ese. Tenía de viajes por no ser volumen 8 mal, no lo común. A lo largo de la historia te encontrarás con diversos escritos, aunque no influyen directamente sobre la voz del juego. Te ayudarán a saber más sobre la historia de la geografía de Norcelia. Puedes ver esas notas cuando deseas en el apartado o a de Mekun dentro del registro militar del mes. Lo principal. Muy buenas, soy de ser Don Serinoa. Me pilla jugando las cuentas con mis amigos. ¿Perdón? Mm. He hecho esta barba, por ser hecho, perdón. El señor Ben y yo participaremos en el torneo bajo nuestro liderazgo. Nos defraudaremos. Ah, está la mano derecha de Benedict. Aquí no habría nada. Venga, tete. de vida voy a sacar más juegos así de este estilo de eh, topaz una cosa más no están todos por aquí bueno les tengo mis amigos en lo que espero que vuelva mi padre la misma me pilla buscando un lugar donde esconderme
Esto. Un descartado es un lugar peligroso. El observatorio de Mesurio te me echa la bronca. Eso es porque se preocupa mucho por ti. Puedes prometerme que no te descontarás en ningún lugar peligroso. Vale, le diré a papá que se lo ha prometido al mismísimo de Don Senoa. Eso, eso, a mi publicidad. Mi marido trabaja en el puerto de los barcos. En el puerto. Los barcos son una parte fundamental para la economía del reino, así que como medio de transporte es esencial. Preguntar a mí que soy el señor Terrestre. Entre la ceremonia que me y el torneo de Liza sin nombramiento y como un nuevo patriarca, no nos faltan labores que os ocupen. Por eso, Freddy y yo queremos familiarizarnos con esta ciudad lo antes posible y ofrecer nuestra ayuda. Este dragón se ha ido. Se ha ido derecho a recorrer la ciudad sin ni siquiera saludarnos primero. En realidad, yo también quisiera saber más sobre vuestra ciudad. ¿Podéis contarme cómo son los dominios de Wolfos? Que mucho he dado alguna vez en esta ciudad. Uno nunca se aburre. El ciudad portuaria que sirve como anexo comercial. Procuramos ser muy cuidadosos con los impuestos para no torpecer el comercio. Es una muy segura gracias a las fuertes murallas que la rodean. Nos ofrecemos mucho para que sea la más tranquila del reino. Eh... Muy segura tampoco la veo yo. Para... Si sí, fijaros que hay mucha actividad comercial en estas tierras, esta ciudad representa el punto medio entre el reino y la, sa y la sacra sede de Dunalgia. Así que, como he de esperar, muchos comerciantes de la compañía de Norcella transitan por aquí. La prosperidad de esta ciudad incide sobre todo en el terreno de Wolford, por lo que considero que es mi misión protegerla. Veo que trabajáis con esmero, los habitantes de vuestra ciudad deben estar muy contentos. La verdad es que estoy bastante impresionado. Claro, es que si le digo el otro de muy protegida, comparado con el resto de la ciudad, esto tiene que ser... Vale, aquí no veo nada. Sí, aquí. 300 monedas. Hombre, que señor, que 300 monedas a la gente está feo, ¿no? Está feo. Les he quitado. Les he quitado cosas a la gente de aquí, ¿eh? En la ciudad de la capital de Glockoburgo se celebra el torneo de Lizas. Las tres. ¡Uy! Bueno, de hecho las tres naciones mandarán a sus campeones. Ahí, me he equivocado. Para esta cena se han congregado los dignatarios de cada una de las tres naciones. Es un extraño propicio para la diplomacia. Recomiendo que vayáis a conocer a esa persona, cada uno de esos distinguidos invitados. Vale, este es el herador. Como se atreve Travis y los demás sinvergüenzas a eso se asaltar a Doña Frederica. Encima cuando iba a conocer a su prometido. Vaya desgracia, eh, Zagal. Un montón de gente ha venido de todas partes para ver la ceremonia. Es un tipo escudriñar cada rincón de la ciudad con sumo interés. Era este. Y vale, con este primero. Estamos probando todo para la célebre de vuestra boda con Doña Federica. A ver, debo ir mis miedos a solicitar una audiencia por el pedraje Simon. Algo que brilla ahí, o me parece a mí. Ahí está el dragón. Wolford, ¿qué dominios tan ricos y prósperos puede ver la confianza de los ciudadanos que tienen tu patriarca? Muchas gracias, es todo un honor para nosotros. ¿No sois el prometido de Frederick? Mis disculpas, me llamo Serino de Wolford. Me he acercado para recibiros, maestro Dragon. Deberíamos regresar antes de que comience el banquete. Otra vez, os solo quería dar una vuelta y echar un vistazo a la ciudad. Viniré de inmediato al castillo en cuanto acabe. se puede finalizar. Sí. Una de las pesquisas, sí. 
Pero lo que te estás por comenzar, será mejor que vuelva al castillo con el maestro de la... Es mucho de hablar, o sea, no sé si vamos a pelear en este capítulo incluso, eh, os digo. El banquete. I thank you for your hospitality today, Lord Serenoa. Think nothing of it. Did you enjoy the city, Lord Dragan? Quite. Its people are full of life and love for their lord. That says all I need to know about House Wolfort. You honor us with your words. I am only being frank. Frederica is the sister of the Archduke, after all, and my cousin besides. I would not see her marry into an unworthy house. Suffice to say, my expectations were exceeded. I have heard much of your ingenious contributions to the mining efforts. I sense prosperous days are ahead of us. As do I. Finally, our nations enter into an age unfettered by war. With Esfrost's iron, Hyzant's salt, and Glenbrook's mediation, there is no limit to what we can achieve. We must regard each other as equals, and forge mutually beneficial relationships. I sense skepticism in your words, Lord Dragan. Do you mean to imply our relations are not already mutually Ooh. beneficial? I need not imply anything. The salt tax you claim makes my case more than clear. Bold words from one so young. Is that how peers speak to one another? Perhaps the young ones, yes. What do you think, Lord Serenoa? Dissatisfaction with the salt tax was one cause of the war, was it not? Salt is a divine boon, a gift from the goddess to her true believers. This is the foundation of the teachings that guide us in Hyzant. By allying with Esfrost, do you mean to gainsay our most fundamental beliefs? Of course not, Minister. We understand that the source is Norzelia's sole supply of salt. And we would not deny that it is the Holy State's right to harvest and tax it as you see fit. Thank you for acknowledging that. Though it strikes me that your words are measured. You needn't be so non-committal, Lord Serenoa. It is only reasonable that the three of us have differing opinions on the matter. However, that is all the more reason for us to be open to frank discussion. Hmm. Honored guests, <laughs> pray forgive my son. We of House Wolfort are but simple warriors. <laughs> I'm afraid matters of finance and politics do not come to us naturally. This, however, I can say. We will fight injustice and tyranny wheresoever. Of course, we do not enjoy conflict. Still, we will not hesitate to defend our land and our people should the need arise. No matter how mighty the threat, we will fight for home and kingdom. Yes, Lord Simon. Of that we are keenly aware. I apologize if I spoke out of turn. But the fact remains that as every winter passes, the tension between our nations grows, and salt is the cause. The common folk have all but forgotten its taste. I simply want to ease their suffering. The ministry I oversee is committed to the preservation of life. I personally believe that salt should not be a luxury reserved for the privileged few. All those who live require it, not just those lucky enough to be born within the borders of our holy state. You agree with me then? How I feel matters little. In Hyzant, the word of the goddess, as conveyed to us, is absolute. 
But perhaps this joint mining venture of yours may lead to the change you seek. Indeed, we must set our gazes to the future. All of us. I expect you will be the ones to usher us into a new era. Yes, Father. Tengo que la verdad culmina sin percances. Para el regocijo general, no obstante, Dragan no deja de sumiar sobre un asunto. Yo creo que esta sí es donde vamos a pelear. ¿Esto es una secundaria? Ay, mira. La princesa Cordelia es testigo de una conversación entre sus hermanos Franey y Roland con su padre Regna. Podemos ver esto, ¿no? Pero ojo, si tenemos que investigar así el mapa para ver que hay una secundaria. La vemos, venga. La castilla del alba. Y esto ya pasa sin quedar cuadro nos dirigía la palabra. Before long, I fear I might forget the sound of his voice. Please, sister, you weep and wail like a common girl. Show some composure. Father has a kingdom to rule, a kingdom engaged in a historic endeavor. He has more important duties than to pamper a spoiled child. I... yes, of course. You speak as if father's duties include anything more than licking the boots of these dignitaries. It is inconceivable he cannot spare the time to break bread with his daughter. You speak out of insolence and ignorance, Roland. I speak only the truth. He leaves all the cumbersome tasks to the Wolforts and Minister Patria. A king's word is to be obeyed. And what of his subjects? Do they exist simply to bring him glory? To take the blame for his failures? They are to serve as he sees fit. The hell they are. Believe as you wish. Speaking of his subjects, it appears lordship of House Wolfort will be passed down to young Saranoa. What? How fortunate for you to have a friend in the new lord. Best not take loyalty for granted, however. House Wolfort is obedient enough for now, but that can change as quickly as the wind. Use them well when you can, but be ready to bring down your fist if they dare to rise above their station. Don't speak of them like lapdogs. They're not servants. They're my friends. Do you really think to lead with such a soft heart? You are not fit to wear the royal signet. Estos son los Lannister del juego y los Wolfos son los Stark. Oh, stop this fighting at once. You frighten me. Enough of this. Where are you going, brother? To train with Sir Maxwell. I would clear my head. There is a tourney on the morrow after all. Wavers, my prince. Something weighs on your mind. You've always been able to see through me. It's no great feat. Your heart lies ever on your sleeve. Do I hear disapproval? Not exactly, my prince. It can be a weakness, yes, but it can also be your strength. 
After all, sometimes a direct strike is most effective at piercing a formidable defense. I will take those words to heart, Sir Maxwell. Thank you for today. The pleasure was mine. I expect a good fight from you tomorrow. In the final match, no doubt. I take the field with House Wolfhort. Together, I have no doubt we can emerge triumphant. Ah, that would explain your improvement. Young Sarah Noah is a worthy training partner. Even so, I have no doubt you've held your own against him. Tomorrow you shall show the realm what I already know. Sir Maxwell, I... Sometimes I wish I wasn't a prince. Sometimes I wish I'd been born your son instead. Surely you jest, your highness. Your father is a great king, and an even greater man. It is an honor to serve him. Apologies. I forget myself. Anyhow, I suppose I should rest till the morrow. Be well, sir. It cannot be easy being the youngest prince. To have others expect nothing from you, yet still shake their heads in disapproval. But you can rise above this, my prince. Seize your chance and lay everyone's doubts to rest once and for all. Dice hombre enmascarado. Oculto. No, que la historia está y está fuerte. Ya se empieza a dibujar un poquito las casas. Da por ver hacer muchos movimientos. Vamos aquí. Si es el torneo ya. Now that's what I call a feast. You've landed quite the catch, Frederica. He is a good man. I can see it in his eye. You are too kind, Lord Dragan. And humble as well. Are you impressed as I, Frederica? I can tell that your heart is pure and gentle, my lord. Lady Frederica. Forgive me if I caused offense. I thought only to return your sincerity and kind. No apologies are needed. I am happy to meet your approval. I... Thank you, my lord. Menos mal que aún se... Se ha traído alguna vez un poco, ¿no? aunque sea así concertado. Forgive my curiosity. What sort of life did Lady Frederica lead in Esfrost? Her life? Truth be told, my dear Serenoa, not a pleasant one. Those of Roselin blood are looked down upon in Esfrost. Gustadolf's full siblings are the worst of the lot. They have not a shred of human compassion between them. They cruelly bully the girl endlessly, regardless of time or place. Is this... True? Of course it is! I know Frederica's suffering all too well. My own father lived ever in the shadow of his elder brother, the former Archduke. Our house, too, is met with sinners But no more! I shall show all those simpering fops that it is not birth that makes greatness, but... And so I did my due research at the archives. That my grand invention shall blast our way forward. <laughs> Dragan, please. I believe you've had enough to drink. <laughs> you can hardly blame me for availing myself of Glenbrook's finest libations. Brought by Trey. Each cask more exotic than the last. <laughs> 
just make sure your head is clear for tomorrow. Or have you forgotten you're meant to be representing your nation? Mm, oh, yes, a, a ceremony to usher in a new age of harmony and prosperity. I am too young to have known the war, so I... I see our three nations joining hands more as... But what of you, my kin-to-be? How do you see our grand cooperative venture? Hmm, será el primer paso, primer paso que acontecerá a las tres naciones antaño enemigas a la paz. Creo que en Arca es mucho más bollante para los tres países algo a celebrar. Desconocemos las intenciones reales de cada nación, así que me siento pesimista. Hombre. Pesimista no voy a poner porque si no... Esto tampoco. It is the first step towards true harmony among our three nations. I welcome it. I see. I admire your optimism. Quizás buenos hasta que nos lo hagan. Cuando nos lo hagan seremos los malos, vamos. Destructivos con el resto de las casas. I know that old grudges die hard. Still, I choose to believe we can overcome our differences. <laughs> Truly, a kind-hearted soul. And people are ever eager to follow a kind heart over a wicked one. Hmm. Yes. In any event, it is always good to have another. Let me tell you what I believe. I believe we're on the cusp of a great achievement! As always, it is the young who must bear the burden of building the future. Old soldiers are frail. Whatever lies in our future, those who make it will mark their names in history. And mine, mine will be written large for all to see! And I would write yours next to it, my dear cousin. Pray, come visit me at the mines once operations are underway. Trigan, are you quite all right? Worry not, Frederica. I'm just a bit tipsy. Perhaps. <sighs> It would seem Lord Dragan has turned in for the night. Quite the passionate fellow, isn't he? He's never been one to hide his ambition, ever since we were little. Neither does he hide his disapproval of my brother and Trueborn siblings. Feelings which you share? I grant it would be satisfying to see the sneers of those who look down on me, but I also agree with Lord Simone that we must set our gazes to the future, though I know not yet how I might best serve in this new age. We are of the same mind in that regard, my lady. Let us ease the weight of each other's burdens. Please, call me Frederica. We are to be husband and wife after all. Of course, my... <laughs> Frederica. Pray call me Sarah Noah as well. Uh, we should carry your cousin to his chambers. Will you help me, Frederica? Certainly, Sarah Noah. Let us take care not to wake him, lest he resume his prattle. Benedict, hmm. I thought I might find you here. My lord. Did you tell her that Sarah Noah would soon be taking over as Lord of our house? Pero no, que Benedict vaya a la tumba de la señora. Forgive me, my lord. I did not think... Save your apologies, Benedict. 
Doubtless she was overjoyed to hear it from you. Destra always... As do I. For 30 years you have served my house better than I ever could have asked for. You honor me, my lord. My lord? <laughs> I suspect this will be the last night I... <laughs> my lord, I will call for a healer at once. Uh, do not bother, Benedict. El hoyo ya lo you know as well as I how my heart now fails me. My lord. And so I entrust Sarah Noah to you. For our house. Pray heed this old man's final. Certainly. I will live to serve your son until I breathe my last. Did you hear that, Destra? Our boy is in good hands. My old dear friend, long have we stood together. I will not let you down, my lord. Sí. No hay nada. Sí, donde Wolford ha decidido coger, colgar el manto del patriarca a todos los integrantes de la casa de Wolford se ha el discurso final. Beloved son, Sarah Noah will oversee the matters of our house from this day forward. I expect you to serve him as dutifully as you served me. Of course, Lord Simon. I, my lord, our undying loyalty to House Wolford. My son, listen well. A lord's judgment shapes the fate his kin and subjects alike. Responsibility for their well-being now falls on your shoulders. You must lead them well. Yes, father. I shall keep those words close to my heart. To that end, I require wise counsel. Together, you possess a wealth of experience. As Lord of House Wolford, it is my duty to consider the best course from every perspective afforded me. I shirk not from this responsibility. At the same time, I would be a fool to not seek guidance from those more traveled than I. For my house and my people, I trust I can rely on you. Well spoken, my son. I dare say you are more than ready. The scales of conviction, a holy relic, said to be blessed by the deities of old. Mother? It was gifted to our family by the King of Glenbrook. From this day on, I entrust. However, it is of little use without these. Coins. Y las tres, eh. Tokens of conviction, we call them. Give one each to only your most trusted retainer. Entonces, hasta aquellos que sabrás que vendrán por tu casa. They will guide you when the path is darkest. Their words will illuminate the pitfalls ahead. <coughs> Heed well the advice of your friends and subjects. Choose your steps carefully. Such has been the way of our house, and such you must see it always shall be. I will, Father. I shall treasure these gifts and make wise use of them in times of need. Very good. 
Now do your duty, my son. We await your orders, my lord. We depart for the capital at once. May this ceremony be but the first of many joyous occasions ahead of us. The House Wolfwarf! Muy guapo. De verdad, bastante bien. Interesante la idea. And so the stewardship of House Wolfort passes from father to son. Lord Simone Wolfort, beloved throughout Glenbrook, entrusts the future to young Serenoa. With the ceremony to mark the beginning of the joint mining venture and a tourney on the horizon, the Wolfort set forth to the Crown City. With no heroic deeds yet to his name, the new Lord Wolfort sets his eyes on the proving grounds, eager to show his worthiness. As Lord Simon will step down, I suppose the time comes for us all to pass on the torch eventually. What wisdom has your father bestowed upon you? Hmm. He has told me what it means to be lord of a house. Very good. Serenoa of House Wolfort, the crown of Glenbrook now looks to you for loyal service and brotherhood. Yes, your majesty. I shall not disappoint. I dare you to say that again, Thalys. Okay, so dragon. Must you make me repeat myself? Estos son los hermanos de Frederica. Thalys y Erika. De Frederica. Thalys y Erika. I am the Prime Minister of Esfrost. I and I alone am fit to represent our nation. Go push your papers in the shadows, like the minor lordling son you are. <laughs> you would shame me. You, who would be nothing if not for your high birth. Your ineptitude is mocked by noble and commoner alike. Dragan, you forget yourself. You both forget yourselves. Frederica? If you must bray at each other, then do so back home. Your bickering will bring shame upon our... Such strong words, sister. Do you think you're above us now that you're being wed to Mighty House Wolfort? Please, Erica. My apologies, but the ceremony will begin soon. I ask the delegates of each nation to make their preparations. And you must be Sarah Noah Wolford. Well, I suppose we should bother the happy couple no longer. Well done, Frederica. I see you've inherited your mother's wiles. She always did have a way with men. Too bad you also inherited her hair. That sickly pink makes me want a wretch. Uf. Aquí vamos a pactar con estas las casas reales dan un poquillo asco. ¿no? Pray forgive my cousins, Lord Serenoa, and forgive me. Those two, they were. Phallus and Erica Esfrost, full brother and sister to Art and my half siblings. I see. Well, I hope that we can all come together for the sake of our grand endeavor. Es que cuando faltan los señores que hay ahora mismo, si el futuro es así, cierto la arriba del campamento. Bueno, pues lo voy a dejar aquí justo. Eh, 
no voy a ir una batalla en este capítulo, pero bueno, hemos tenido mucha información, hemos situado más o menos las casas aquí ya en el mapa de el Triangle Strategy y hemos visto, bueno, pues como si no, al final se ha hecho el señor de, de Walford y veremos a ver cómo, cómo avanza. Espero os haya gustado este vídeo, ya sabéis, darle like, suscribiros al canal para más y no os perdáis la aventura. Nos vemos.